Shalom, shalom everyone. Here is my first finished object. Um, I will insert a picture right here. It is a granny rectangle blanket. It measures approximately 72 by 56. The tassels are 6 inch tassels. This is the yarn that I've got left. I used, uh, these are all um, Karen Simply Soft, and then I used some Yarn B uh, Shale, of course that's it, and uh, tobacco I think, yeah, tobacco, right here, tobacco, and this is what I've got left, and I didn't want to make it any bigger because as you can see from the pictures, it's quite large. Um, so I'm going to use this to make a shawl. But, uh, oh, uh, just a second. The yarn hook, uh, this is crocheted. The hook that I used was an H8 or a 5 millimeter. So, oh, and it is so soft, y'all. Of course, that Karen Simply Soft. Now, I already had the Karen Simply Soft, and I had to buy the, and I had one of these yarn bees. Um, uh, shale, and I had to go back and buy a uh, uh, another yarn bee to make up the colors. It is based on sevens and threes. Uh, by that I mean uh, there's seven colors, there's seven uh, in between each color. It's just sevens and threes. That's just the way I wanted to make it. Uh, I just wanted to make it that way. And uh, that's the way I made it. And I just love it. It is so soft. So soft. So that's my first finished object. Here is my next finished object. It is a granny square capelet. So what it is, is it's a granny square, but it has extra... Right here, I will insert a picture. Okay, so uh, what I did is I did a granny square with extra, extra things, you know. And I used um, uh, some, just some no-name black acrylic here on the edge to give it some definition. I did, uh, like I said, it's a granny, it's a granny square. And I did um, two rows of double crochet and then one row of single crochet. And then here around the neck, um, I did uh, two rows of single crochet out of this yarn. And this is a, uh, oh, it's like that, I forgot what you call it, but it's like it's uh, 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 weaved not uh, twisted yarn and it is brucilla paradise brucilla paradise uh, uh, and it, it's 75 percent lofted acetate 22 percent texturized nylon uh it is washable and uh um i use one two three, four, five skeins of that, and I, this is all I've got left. I have no idea of how much of this black that I used, uh, but I thought this was just a nice, pretty kind of a, oh, not leopardy, but kind of a leopardy uh, look to it, and like I said, it's a capelet, and it is reversible, so it doesn't matter what side you wear out, but it's nice, and it's, it's soft, uh, but it's not... Um, Oh, that you know, sometimes something can be too soft. Well, this is not too soft. But this is good for, like, just covering up your shoulders. If you just need uh, uh, something to cover your shoulders with. And, like I said, it is crocheted. And the crochet hook is an H8 or 5 millimeter crochet hook. So, that's my second finished object. Nice. I like it. It's kind of a neutral colors too, so it'll go with a lot of items. 
almost forgot to tell you, on this right here, on this uh, um, capelet, cape, the spine from here to the bottom here measures 21 inches. From this corner to this corner across, it measures um, 36 inches. And from the top that you put over your shoulder, so uh, that would be this right here. This goes over your shoulder, you know, and cross it in the front to the bottom of the spine is 40 inches. So, and, and I don't remember if I said the crochet hook, but the crochet hook was a um, H8 5 millimeter. Okay, and here's my last uh, uh, group of finished objects. I made, uh, this is all the yarn I had left. I had some of that, um, oh, what's it called? Aunt Lydia's Craft and Rug Yarn. Well, I had more than three skeins, but three is all I got. See, some of it's pretty darn old. Um... I had more than three skeins. See, I paid 50 cents for it. Gosh knows how long ago. How, I can't see the price tag on this. 50 cents. And there's no telling how long I had this. Uh, there's the white label. Here is the um, yellow label. And here is the blue label. Well, first off, before I forget, I used a... What is that? A G. Oh, no, excuse me. I used a six millimeter hook. I'll, I'll convert that in the description. Down in the description, I'll convert that. But first thing I did was I made me a laundry bag holder. Now, I didn't use anybody's recipe or or a pattern or anything. I just knew what I needed. So here's the hole in the bottom. And then here is to go around, uh, you know, you put this, I want to put this around my uh, towel holder and then lace it through. And uh, like I said, these were just, uh, I did have three full skeins and then what you see is partial skeins and that's what I've got left. So I made this right here. This is a, um, you know, a bag holder to reuse my uh, shopping bags. And it measures 15 by 11. Uh, 15 down and 11 across. And like I said here, I left a hole in the bottom so I could pull them out the bottom. Or I could just pull it out the top. Then I made this topper for my uh, cabinet. I'm redoing my kitchen, y'all. Uh, I don't know when I'll get that video up, but I'm redoing my kitchen. And I just wanted to use this yarn up, so I thought, well, this is going to go under my, um, I have some, uh, what are they called? Cast iron pots. And I wanted something to go under my cast iron pots. So I just made this. It's got little tassels on it, just, just using up the yarn. It measures... Uh, 17 by 10, and it's got 4-inch tassels. And it's just plain. It's nothing fancy. It's just something to use up the yarn. And then I had a little bit more left, so I made this right here. It's just a trivet. Uh, made a little thing on there to hold it. And it's 7 inches um, across. So that's my finished and object, And if you've got a fancy to, subscribe to my channel and give me a like down there. And all the, the information you'll need will be in the description. So shalom, shalom, everybody. Bye-bye.